Okay, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this deck later uh, for another um, League with Grixis Discard. As y'all know, we played this yesterday. Uh, you know, did real well with it. Got our got our five wins, um, and hoping to do more of the same. You know, I, I really like this deck. I think it's it's pretty strong. But of course, when you're playing a a reaction heavy deck, um, there are certainly holes. You know, like you can you can get run over. Um, you can have like your your uh, removal that you have not line up against your opponents. You can have. Um, you know, just sitting with a bunch of discard spells while your opponents play a couple creatures and they run you over kind of thing. But I like this deck quite a bit. And, um, you know, Nicol Bolas is really fun to play. So is Angrath. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we got. Grix's discard. Whereas Doom Whisper, Doom Whisper kind of goes in and out of the deck. Um, but I'm, I'm back to not having Doom Whisper in the deck. Um, it is, Whisper is good with Disinformation Campaign of Resetting, and Doom Whisper is the best against the aggro deck. So the more aggro decks you have in your metagame, you know, like Mono Red, Mono White, that kind of stuff, Doom Whisper is really good against those decks because it, it gives you a fast clock being a 6-6 six, six for 5 mana. Um, right now, the last time I played Doom Whisper, I had, I had one copy instead of this Duress. I, I've taken out, uh, yesterday I took out the Doom Whisper and added in the Duress. Um, the more mid-range and control you play against, the less Doom Whisper, Doom Whisper is good because it kind of gets stuck in your hand and um, it usually trades down on mana with like a removal spell and stuff. And um, I like the Duress, you know, uh, more against those mid-range and control decks, and we see a lot of those on here. So I'm um, I've been happy with the Duress here. Yeah, Spectre is just not. Yeah, it's, it's too small of a body for how much mana it costs. Um, and we don't we don't have very many creatures that kind of help protect the Spectre. Like, so the Spectre is just going to die to, like, their removal spell that they have. Um, and, uh, and so, like, by the time we, we finally play it, they're going to have, like, whatever removal spell by that time. And they'll just use that removal spell to kill it. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely thought about the idea of playing against subs. I think that's... I think you can donate to, to play against me. I think in, in my donation panel, that's like one of the things. I think I do like a $10 donation, I think, for a match, I believe. I haven't had anybody donate for a 1v1 recently. Um... But I also think I think because I think it's just one game right now. Or, or I guess do they have best two out of three challenge now? I think they did put that on best two out of three challenge. But I, I had it out there for like whenever it was just one game. Oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely expensive. Um All right, so I might just yeah yeah that, that's a little expensive ten dollars for just for a match, but um, it's something that I wouldn't want like my whole stream. You know, if it's too cheap, then like the whole stream just kind of turns into that kind of thing. I don't I don't want just to be doing that all the time. It's like you know a special thing. And you know a match can take you know like forty minutes or whatever. If you think about. You know, it's not an hour, but, you know, if you kind of think about, like, $10 an hour. I don't know if I want to play the Discovery first or later. It's kind of a rough rough spot with the Discovery. So, Discovery picking up Disinformation Campaign, picking that back up is kind of crucial. Yeah, Brit, Brit Splash. That's what that's what I kind of think too. Like that, I, I don't think that's what viewers, a lot of viewers don't want to watch fewer matches for the most part. Yeah, Nefer, maybe I could do that sometimes. Maybe like if if the the decks like finish up pretty early. Um, 
and you know we're like de we're done pretty soon before um, ten o'clock. All right, now this is when we need to duress because we we need to make sure that if if they do have Vivian, they don't play Vivian. Vivian's the card I'm worried about. I was hoping. Carnage Tyrant. Alright, I'm saving one dispersal for the Carnage Tyrant. Well, there's there's another one. So if their Branch Walker would have just been a 3-2 Branch Walker and they didn't get that extra land, then they would have only had one card in hand and we would have been able to Discovery, pick up the campaign and campaign. Um, but I thought it was safer to, to throw out the Duress there and see if they had the Vivian in hand. Oh, that's a really good... That's a good card to draw. Dun, 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 dun. So you see the power of disinformation campaign. It keeps... It keeps us going through the deck and uh, increases our resources while, while reducing the opponent's resources. Pretty strong, pretty strong. All right, so I have a whole lot of sideboarding to do for this match. So I click the Done button. Okay, so we had that sideboarding to do. I had to get that one done. Um... Doom Whisperer does block Carnage Tyrant, which is kind of nice. So, this 75 that I have is, you know, Car you don't just you just don't see very many Carnage Tyrants around these days. Um, oh, hey, Aduriel, sorry. Welcome. I forgot to say hi. Um, or if I forgot to say hi, I mean I didn't. Just saw your message now. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, I was saying that there's there's less Carnage Tyrants around these days, so I'm my deck is not as good against tar Carnage Tyrant as it was last format. All right, let's try to get Black Mana towards Ritual of Set. Ritual of Soot is one of, if not the most important card in this matchup for me. Because, you know, as you can see, all these cards in my hand, I'm just going to be behind all the time. <sighs> kind of want a Thought Erasure. This is a good hand. Am I just ignoring this Vraska Golgari Queen? Or am I ignoring Midnight Reaper? I can probably ignore Midnight Reaper. It's a good spot for campaign. Midnight Reaper will hurt us a little bit. <laughs> Uh, that is the worst card ever. Um, unfortunately, I think I need to do this and just make sure, make sure I have black mana. And unfortunately, we had to ditch two good cards, especially that other set.
the correct choice for the opponent. Those jade lights back to back. Those are off. I I just wish I would have played as Kanta on turn two instead of Thought Erasure. So it would have been a lot easier. I wouldn't have had to play the discovery right away. Um, I, you know, could have like gone into like disinformation. Like it, it all kind of turned out that, you know, like we ended up just playing the wrong cards. Um, you know, being able to like hold the dispersal for Carnage Tyrant, all that kind of stuff. It's just ended up ended up not working out for us. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good point. The Vraska would have killed Ascanta. That's a good point. I still wish I would have played it. Or maybe just taking Midnight Reaper instead of... Yeah, I guess just taking Midnight Reaper would have been the better thing instead of Vraska. With them only having the 1-3 and then the 3-2 Midnight Reaper, I thought I could just kind of wait, steal their Midnight Reaper, kill it with Angrath. Um, kind of thing. Can't beat the tyrant. Can't really beat anything else they have, though. Yeah, they didn't jam tyrant because of Elvis Reborn. They were thinking I could have Elvis Reborn. This is a game that I think we win this game on the play. I think how our cards line up. I honestly think that we could have won this on the play. But we're just getting, you know, ran over here on the draw with just how things lined up. I have to shock. I need one more mana. Could coil this Reaper, play Angrath, steal the Jade Light, go to one. But we have to shock. Um. We're st and I, yeah, that's just not, not too good anyway. All right, let's try to have this line up a little better. Midnight Reaper is like the reason why I'd want to play Cry of the Carnarium. A lot of their cards get out of Cry of the Carnarium range, but but specifically because of Midnight Reaper, I'd want to play this card. I'm not going to though. Yeah, we have the four lava coils. Hopefully, it's good enough. Are they just Golgari? I think they are, right? Yeah, I don't think they're any. I don't think they're Soltai. Not a very good hand. That was Ritual of Set. Hopefully we draw any one of our two or three mana spells here. Or a land. 
I can't draw another four mana spell. There's not very many more cards that cost four in our deck. Alright, that'll do. Alright, let's get this Bant Familiar going. We're at 3, 6, 19. So they're just shocking and passing. So they have, they certainly have Rasta's Contempt. Um, I'm just gonna pass. I guess bulls can get contempted, I guess. Yeah, I'll take a contempt and a chupacabra. I'll take that. One card I can't beat. One card I can't beat. Gotta at least keep their hand clear if we do no draw dis fire, discovery. No steel. Dispersal. Back to the devil's chains in the Stormwreck Sea I go. Dispersal. Hmm. Angrath does gain seven life. No, Detection Tower is not worth it. Detection Tower was worth it last format. You'll play against Carnage Tyrant like once every like four or five days. It's like when I play like playing seven hours a day. You just don't you just don't see Carnage Tyrants very much these days. It's just not it's not worth it playing. Cards that are good against Carnage Tyrant. I've weathered tougher storms than you. Would you like to succumb to me? That's terrible. So that's keeping their hand full. I always survive. You'll see. Rag for life. Thanks for resubbing there for the third month. Welcome back. That's sub number 20. Let's go crack open a pack. All right, we played against the one person playing a bunch of Carnage Tyrants and everything. Oh well. No thought erasures for us to take them or Anything like that. All right, pack time. Let's see. Let's go Ixalan. Let's go Ixalan. All right, what do we got? Fathom Fleet Captain. That's a pretty cool card. 
Give me some good old good old pirates. Phyrexian Scriptures is horrendous. Never play that card. You have to play you have to play um Star of Extinction for that matchup. Like, you know, old school Golgari, um you need Star of Extinction, because that that kills like, you know, Vivian and, and all their things and Carnage Tyrants and that's the card. Scriptures, you just all that happens when you play a scriptures is you take a turn off to play a scriptures, and then they play a Vivian and kill your scriptures, and then you die. Just don't don't ever play that card. In this deck. Maybe you're playing a different deck where you don't have better options. And you need it for some reason. Or they just have a Vivian in play. And kill it. And so taking a little bit of a risk by putting the, the Lava Coil to the bottom because we don't have other removal, but of course we don't have any red mana. I'd like that Lava Coil back, please. Alright, what, what else you got over here? Obsession, Capture, Retort, Mage. This is going to be kind of annoying to fight through. So this campaign gets countered. And then what am I doing? I'm not playing that campaign. I'll be playing like Discoveries on turn 4. Turn 3 I play campaign. It gets Wizards Retorted. They kept that card real quickly. Do I want Erasure? I, I certainly want the Sulphur Falls. Do I want Thought Erasure? Yeah, I think so. Because we can... We can, um... So it's not bad either. Next turn we can Erasure, see if they have a Counterspell, and then Coil. Um... I think I'll just kind of keep on, keep on just taking removal. Can't counter everything. I guess I pay two. All right. Took out two, two counter spells with one card. Worth. Hmm. And with the sorcery speed. Removal, or the one that costs three. I guess the sorcery speed. Uh, oh, haven't updated the record. Oh, and one. Is that card in their hand, this card over here, going to counter my Angrath? That's a big maybe. Big maybe. 
Seen two retorts and a spell pierce so far. They did keep that card on top with sprite, didn't they? I think they kept that card on top with the sprite. Get out of here. Alright, so the answer is no. That card will not counter my Angrath. You're just Good thing we kept the instant the speed of freedom, removal. Cur. No fire, no steel. Yes, we would get to draw a card if we Angrath to the Cures of Such no a Creature. No fire, no steel. I don't know, they, they really want to counter some creature. No fire, no steel. There we go. The ultimate warrior. Alright, so Duress... Negate. Moment. Cry. I'm not really that sold on Cry in this matchup, honestly. The creatures can certainly get bigger than the minus two, minus two, especially by by this time, or you know, gets countered. It's um. Don't really like it too much. Hmm. No, Ankrath's better than Thief. Thief gets outclassed in the air and um, doesn't block that well and dies to our own ritual of soot. I like Angrath. Yeah, Angrath can get spell pierced, of course, but we need to just, you know, try to try to play around that and, uh, we don't really want Angrath early, but Angrath's a, just a good card to end game. You know, like, the rest of our deck is basically built around um, interaction. You know, like, we have, we, you know, like, after sideboarding here, we have so much cheap interaction, so it's, o it's okay to have a few cards at the top end that uh, finish games out. Why do they want to cast an opt to then step? It's annoying. So obviously the Siren Storm Tamer just gets sacrificed here. The big question is that they have like another counter spell. That's the big question that I was talking about. All right, so that does let us get a draw Ritual of Soot here. Um, and hopefully have Ritual of Soot resolve. Ugh. If I only had the Bedevil plus the Negate. Oh, I guess Negate doesn't work. They have that thing. Likely over, but it's not quite. Wow. How are you doing that, opponent? What are you even doing? What are you even doing? For 
We're still in it. Opponent's got six cards. Five cards now, but... We're not, you know, immediately dead like we were previously. I should play the Blood Crypt. Ritual of Soot. We have Negate backup also. Come on, Soot. We got four of you in the deck for a reason. Where are you at? Soot. Um, I guess so. Uh, didn't find it. We got to ha hope they don't have a counter spell now. And we hit Soot. Yeah, because unfortunately I'm taking lethal as long as they just have a land, so... Just gotta hope they don't have a counter spell. Should be kind of weird, but maybe they don't. Do I want Cry of the Carnarium? Played over like a Discovery and Contempt for the two cries. I think that's what I did before. The creatures just get kind of big. Cry doesn't do that much. I think I'll play a Cry over that Discovery and put this Contempt back in. I like Contempt. I like Instant Speed. Uh, I like being able to, to have lots of answers to Tempest Gens. Not interested in Thief at all. I have played Thief in this matchup a couple of times and deeply regretted it every time. I'd just rather have Angrath. Trickster, Dive Down, Quench, Retort. I don't want Thief in my Cry the Carnarium Ritual of Sit deck in this matchup. Just not not interested. Times I've played it before, like I would play a Thief, my opponent, my opponent would play like a Tempest Gin and I couldn't like attack and they'd like adapt their Terramander and I would just have to like Ritual Sit it away and I'm just like, what am I doing with this card? I should shock and play Cry here, honestly. Yeah, I, I should just shock and play Cry. And set a coil. I should also play my land first. In case they want to go like quench plus spell pierce. But I guess that's probably a good trade for me. Alright, we have all of our dresses and negates in. We need to find like that kind of stuff to help protect Angrath. Quench only counters unless he paid two. We would have been able to pay the two. But Quench wouldn't have done anything. I'm gonna make make sure that, I'm gonna make sure that Quench doesn't do anything like the whole game. Thank you. 
on deck. Not a problem where we're at mana wise. Drawing all of our top end of our removal. It's just lands and four four drops. I mean, our opponents draw lots of lands. You know, like they have nine lands over here. All right, their quench does something. Bolus. Called it. I should have gone with Soot f first because of Spell Pierce. And if like one was going to be countered, I'd rather have the Nickel Bolus in play. Alright, at least we got this thing finally in play. No fire, no steel. We need another one of those boluses. Thank you, deck. I need to start asking for boluses no more. No fire, no steel. Finally, the fourth suit got there. It was a match of both of us drawing a whole lot of lands, um, which ended up being pretty good for me against a bunch of quenches and spell pierce that our opponent was playing. Just got to sit back, hit land drops. Um, and there we, there we go. Two and one. I don't hate this hand. That's not so bad. Lands are cool. I got Search for Escanta right here on top. Thought Erasure or Discovery. Discovery. I knew I had one of them. All right, so opponent's playing Hinterland Harbor. So it's kind of tough here, because like if they're playing if they're playing Sultai, I want these cards. 
if they're playing, you know, Nexus, I don't want these cards. So that's that's kind of the tough part of like, what are they playing with the Hinterland Harbor? Soul Tire Nexus. I probably just I probably just treat it like it's Soul Tie because I'm not going to beat Nexus. Yeah, I'm not beating Nexus, so let's just treat it like it's Soul Tie. Let's just keep them. All right, it was Nexus. We guessed wrong. All right, bringing all this stuff. Cut all of that stuff. Let's see, three more. Just like, you know, not play removal. Don't really need removal. Hey, fishies. Thanks for re resubbing here for the second month. I do appreciate that. <laughs> now we discovered some, like, jank teamer deck with, like, a lot of creatures. It's not actually Nexus. We just get got. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm adding up all the collective hours and sanity saved with that scoop. Wilderness Reclamation. Hmm. They had one in hand. What a surprise. Always have that card in hand. Alright, what else you got over here? Nexus. A Krasis. One Krasis. For a creature. This thing. This cannot possibly be better... Cannot possibly be better than Incubation Druid. Here you're playing Wilderness Reclamation. Like, what if you had an Arcanist on turn two and then you can't even play Reclamation on turn three? Just play... Like, what are you doing? Just... Just play Incubation Druid. Oh, I forgot to count up how many expansions they had. Um... Well, that card works. I was gonna campaign here, uh, cause you had I'd have to have thought erasure plus negate, cause I don't want them to copy my thought erasure with expansion. Just go graveyard, even though even though I don't really mind a land. Maybe I should have kept the land. All right, good. They didn't. They don't have that to kill the thief of sanity. All right, now I'm keeping a land. If we have a land on top. Hey, thanks, Jay Bird. Thanks for the bits. The show love bits. I hope I hope everybody's having a good day. All right. Um, yeah, maybe I should just keep this. All right. 
what you got? Nexus, Nexus, expansion, as Kanto. Let's take this expansion. Do I want to negate the Ascanta? I might just thought erase it away. Pick up my campaign. The problem with thought erasing it away is they do get to just cycle their nexuses. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of this Huskanta. All right, cycle those. That one Krasis was their only creature, right? Pretty sure it is. So I think they just have like, they probably had four explosions. I think they only have just like explosions left. Yeah, other than that Ar Arcanist. I'm not, not counting that Arcanist. They're not gonna kill us with that thing. So yeah, I'm glad we have the one removal spell for the one crisis. That's all we need. So why not campaign there? Because I think at that point, I just wanted to get the, I wanted to start getting the snowball effect with Thief of Sanity. Um, I, th I thought we were in a pretty safe spot. Uh, even though campaign technically would have been better against like, uh, against like an expansion or something in their hand, explosion. I can certainly see our opponent. Our opponent's probably going to be s switching up their sideboarding now that I saw their deck uh, with the Unmoored Ego. Could could realistically see some creatures coming in here, but oh well. Force them to have them. not a perfect hand. That makes it a lot better. We have a lot of good two drops that we could draw, so let's just cast this turn one. Plus we can take their Ascanta. They're going with uh, the shock there. They probably have Chemister's Insight, which is bad for us. Oh, they have the Blink of a Knife. It's also kind of bad for us. Yeah, if I if I played Thief there, they would just explosion it for two. Um So 
the problem with like campaign thought erasure and stuff right now is like you have a campaign they negate um then i if i basically the problem with thought erasure is that's the big problem thought erasure they they could copy thought erasure um i honestly don't know if that's really even that big of a, a deal though them copying thought erasure I can play the thief out now because if they want to explosion the thief, we get we can negate that. They don't have the mana to explosion for two and negate. Yeah, we have been fortunate that they didn't they didn't haven't found reclamation. This one looks awesome for us now. I mean, our opponent doesn't really have any good plays. If they. You know, like, the, we're just going to tap them out. I'm just going to negate this, and then I'm going to get rid of their hand with Campaign and Thought Erasure. Let's hit them first with Thief. Let's take this Insight. Because otherwise, if I, if I put the Insight in the bin, then, then they get the Insight. I guess I, I could have just thought erasure to away the explosion and then just played another thief. And just let left them have let them have the negate in hand still. It's odd. Alright, two and one. Yeah, we are we are definitely good against the control decks after after sideboarding. Just every single one of our cards are is like good in that matchup. You know, like our decks just filled, you know, with four duress, four thought erasure, uh, three negate, four disinformation campaign, four thief of sanity, you know, a couple one more egos. Like, you know, we just rip them apart. And then we have the nickel boluses and the angrats also. and rip them apart. Terramander. Alright, we need some removal. Well, they're not removal spells, per se. I'll do. I have 26 lands in here. Removal, lava coil, lava coil, be devil. Ah, I tried, dig drill hard, just didn't quite get there. Um, the card I'm most excited about rotating this summer, unfortunately, wilderness reclamation is not rotating. Um, nor is Niv. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, kind of a lot of the cards that I don't like right now are not rotating. Um, I would have, you know, been like real happy for like Teferi previously. Come on, play, play something else. Tilt. Or am I going Bolus or Ritual of Soot? Going Bolus. Because, like, the third turn, I think Soot's the most important thing to have resolved the third turn. This plays around Spell Pierce, Dive Down. Um, 
You know, so they need Essence Capture or Wizard's Retort. Nice. Don't have those. Yeah, it's... Yeah, Nexus Rotating's good. I, I don't know if that's my favorite card to rotate. Honestly, honestly, my favorite card to be rotating is probably just, like, Wild Growth Walker. Honestly. I think I'm I'm just, like, glad that a lot of the Sultai stuff's rotating. You know, I think we've played against enough of those those cards. I think that I think honestly I think that's the the stuff I'm most glad rotating, which is kind of weird because I you know I like green green decks and everything. Um, in the, in the fall they will leave standard in like late September or whatever. Yeah, search for Escanta. Another card that's kind of messed up. Um, I don't know what I'm really looking for. I don't think it's these, though. Maybe, maybe it's that. Playing around Spell Pierce with the Soot. So that's my goal. I'm definitely casting the Lava Coil here, which which at least doesn't let them play a Trickster. Right there. I guess that they do have still if they have an, a Trickster this turn. It's pretty bad for me. Then I can't I can't shock in and, and play around set or play sorry play around spell pierce yeah I think you're you're right with with where my life total is I think I should have just played a set next turn and try to try to go set set that's scary. Some people just have no chill. Just no chill. As Kanta. Questions as Kanta or Thought Erasure turn two on the play? Get get as Kanta in play. I mean, so obviously our opponent didn't have a counter spell in their hand, right? Because like, there's no way they play the Tempest Chain if they have a counter spell. Because um, like, I mean, I, I just have to jam the Ritual so no matter what. But that's got to mean they don't have a counter spell, right? Like, they probably didn't just randomly have this spell Pierce then. Like 
<laughs> Stop. Where are you? There you are. Just gonna make them spend mana on their turn to protect the Storm Tamer if they want to. All right, so, so this is a problem. So, I mean, I could I could Nickel Bolas, make them discard, but then if their last card is Dive Down, they would just, you know, cast their Dive Down in response, and then I don't get to Coil. Um, instead, I could just Coil first, and then if their card's a Dive Down, I can Contempt it. Um, so, even though it would be better... Okay, yeah, so that just resolved. Even though it'd be better to be able to make them discard their last card with Bolas first, you know, in, in theory. Get that out of here. Can't get that seventh mana to flip this bolus. I think we're doing okay though. I'm not shocking. Got over there. Negate, cool. What else you got? You're just fuel for Land. the fires of freedom, Kerr. All right. No fire. No steel. No fire. No steel. What do you think, Hawkeye? What do you think? No fire? Or no steel? Alright. Get all the dresses, all the negates. One cry, one moment. Discovery and Disinformation campaign out and call it a day. <laughs> yeah, this deck's fun. This is a good one. <laughs> Why do you resist the minus three? I don't know. I like I like Angrath dealing the, the lethal. No Curious Obsession for you. No. Bad Curious Obsession. Bad. Different ops. Um, I don't think Thief is super good against Mono Blue in my deck. Can't be for other matchups, other decks. I don't think it is here. Man, I like... I want... Uh, I want to Lava Coil this thing, but I also just need lands. I'm just going to ditch it. We need lands.
12 hours treat me well. Yeah, we're uh, over nine hours in. Powering through, doing good. I guess we still get the coil. Um, yeah, I just do best of three. I don't do I don't do best of one. Come on, let's get this land. Let's ritual set away this thing. This thing's about to be a five-five. It's too big. Okay, now do I bolus first? I guess I have to bolus first. I can't afford the soot getting countered. I just have to bolus. Well, they didn't have a, a counter spell, so if they just drew a counter spell. That'd be pretty bad for me. They did not just draw a counter spell. That's pretty good for me. And the game ends. GG. So wonder wanted to remind y'all, since this game's kind of over, uh, got some more people in here. I wanted to mention Quip. We are doing a 12-hour stream whenever we have 10 people sign up for Quip. We have six people sign up so far. Quip Ever is water um, an affordable, stylish, <laughs> dentist-approved electric price. toothbrush. It's really awesome. Best electric toothbrush I've ever had in my life. Really recommend it. Also, if you sign up through my referral code, uh, not only do you get your first refill of toothpaste and um, extra brush head free, no I'm also doing no a special where you get a free uh, donation deck of your choice by signing up for Quip. So, check it out. Go through my referral link there. Get a donation deck. Ugh. Just for signing up. That's game. All right, three and one. We beat Mono Blue twice and uh, Teamer Nexus. We lost to Old School Golgari with. A bunch of Carnage Tyrants. Couldn't handle the Carnage Tyrants. You don't need to live in the U.S. It says on the... It says free shipping worldwide. Free shipping worldwide. I, I win that matchup a lot more than I lose it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know about, like, you know... Mono blue optimally played may not be a good matchup. They usually win. Yeah, right? Where are the Esper opponents? It's really unfortunate. Both those cards are good, but I'm shipping them with us not having land. Um, I think, like, Mono Red Burn is a bad matchup. And, like, maybe even, uh, like, some of, like, that, those aggro decks. Those are kind of bad matchups. All right, well, now, now we have lands. I kind of want that Angrath back. Yeah, see, the subscription is just for you don't you don't actually need to, to do the subscription. The subscription would be for getting uh, a new brush head and uh, brush head, AAA battery, and tube of toothpaste every three months in the mail. So you don't want to worry about that.
and I really like their toothpaste. They have they have a nice little guide uh, that it comes in that like gives you a lot of good tips of like uh, what how you should be brushing your teeth and like the amount of toothpaste to use and um, the the toothbrush also so it's it's electric you know after I'm kind of scared of Vivian. There we go. After 30, so you're supposed to go like one quadrant in your mouth for 30 seconds, and after 30 seconds, if you're like, it pulses to tell you, and then so you go to the next one, then after 30 seconds, pulses again, and you know, it does that for like the two minutes, and then and then uh, shuts off automatically after the two minutes. Of course, you can keep, you can turn it back on if you want to keep rushing, but you know, it kind of helps you out with uh, recommended brush times. How do I handle tilt in magic? Um, so, you just kind of, I don't know, like, there's, there is certainly, you know, like, everybody definitely gets frustrated by different things that, that happen in Magic. Um, you know, there's a lot of variance in the game. Um, you kind of just have to keep your head up and, and fight through it. Um, just have to get... Like, the more you play, the more you kind of see everything. Uh, the more you get used to losing. Because, um, you know, you'll lose a, you'll lose a lot. Um, and so you're, you just kind of get used to opponents having what they need. Because it happens a lot. And then there's a lot of times that you have really good draws. Like, we just had, like, a really good draw with that ritual set there. Um, so it just kind of happens both ways. So just the more experience you have... Um, Yeah, you, yeah, you can brush your teeth in the shower with it. That's what I that's what I like to do. Myself as well. Um I still have a contempt for that Vivian. <laughs> nothing to do against opponents that are that are roping you cuz they're tilted. It's nothing to do. Um, I was a so I was a college uh, Division One tennis player Every before makes me stronger. before really playing Magic too much, you know. So <laughs> like I've seen you know, worse. so just four years of playing tennis. <laughs> um, Get that out of here. Kind of really helped me with tilt because in tennis there are lots and lots of points um, in a tennis match. Um, you know, go back and forth. You know, you you hit a great shot. It, but it's just barely outside. Um, your opponent hits a shot that like just hits the top of the net and trickles over. All that kind of like variant Wild stuff this happens nothing. all the time in tennis. So I think that being a tennis player has helped me. All right, so so Vivian was the reason why. Thanks, Timmy. I'll get to you in here a second. But so the reason why I played Nicol Bolas, yeah, not Angrath, the previous monsters. turn was because of Vivian. Because if they had it, another Vivian, I wanted to be able to. Uh, kill their Vivian ah, with their the branch walker, again. and so that's why I waited on the Angrath. All right, uh, Timmy with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much. All right, so that's sub number twenty-two on the day. <laughs> no, not for the University of Iowa. Um, I played at a little college in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but it was Division One. All right, we'll clear out their top card or clear that thing out. No fire, no steel. Clear out again with Nicol Bolas. So is Vivian like the best thing for me to get back? I guess another Bolas. Yeah, I guess another bolus is probably the best thing for me to get back. No, I, I didn't personally play against anybody who went pro. Um, our team did a couple of times. I wasn't one of the top players on the team, and so um, not very often, but a couple of times, like some of the some of our our like top player played against a couple of people who went pro. Um, our biggest match was probably. 
against Penn State, who was ranked in the top 25 at the time, and they had some players go pro. Oh, wow. Rituals, that's good. No fire, no steel. All right, getting my bolus back. Kneel before your god. Isn't death amusing? Get rid of that crisis. Isn't death amusing? All right, uh, let's go ahead and head on over to the submit button. Yep, looks like a. I could see like playing the one negate instead of the one duress. Actually, maybe I want the one negate in this matchup for like. You know, goes goes later like that, like the top deck Vivians and find finalities and stuff like that. It's, I guess we'll go with the one negate. That was a pretty good game, uh, but as you you know, like. We did really good at drawing Ritual of Sets. That's a really important card for us to clear out those Explore creatures. The Explore creatures are, you know, certainly a problem whenever we are, you know, having so many cards that affect our opponent's hand. Um... Ship it. Well, I'm not playing Thief because I'm trying to like sweep the board a bunch with Ritual of Soots and they're gonna keep in like removal They'll have you know, like they have like their Vivians. They probably keep like hostage shaker that kind of stuff I don't want to play creatures early in the game at all um, It kind of worked out That way to play some nickel bolses early, but I, I usually want to like play disinformation campaigns and and discard spells and everything and wait till like um Wait till I clear out all their removal before I start playing creatures. So Thief of Sanity is, just doesn't help with this, with the game plan, to be able to win this matchup. See, like they just hostage taker your, your, uh, your Thief of Sanity. I want to, I want to blank this card. Well, this is pretty good, though. It's like I could bolus there because we, you know, we have like the removal. Like they bolus cost enough mana where they're not going to be able to like hostage taker it and and everything. Yeah, they they kept Growl Harpooner. Yeah. See they they want to kill things. So I I wanna find disinformation campaigns. Um kinda hard for me to say no to, to more removal though. But uh so yeah, because disinformation campaigns are how I like really gain card advantage and dodge their removal spells and stuff. All right, that's my card to coil. Get that out of here for good. Don't let them folly this thing back. Angrath's another good one. Like Angrath and Campaign are the cards we want to find.
The problem with playing Angrath here is not only does Hydroid Krasis go to their graveyard so they can rebuy it back, but they also probably just play a couple creatures. And... Then, like, really pressure my Angrath. My Angrath doesn't get to do a whole lot. Yeah, you can replace an Angrath with a Ral if you want. I, I like Angrath more myself. But you can. When you go end step contempt and hopefully be able to un untap an Angrath. See what our opponent has. bad for us. Ooh, that's good for us. Alright, Ascanta, start doing your thing. Start killing all the stuff. Glad they didn't keep that Jade Light on top and they weren't just like drawing a Jade Light and, and having a, another Jade Light here. Why do they have to be playing Carnage Tyrant? Who plays that card? I don't... Real... Real Duke... I don't... What do you mean, like, what's my eyeglass prescription? Like, the exact numbers? Like... I don't know, what do you want to know? I guess I can pretend like I have answers that my opponent needs to be worried about when I really don't. I gotta get that thing while it's in the hand. So they're just a deck filled with Carnage Tyrants too. Man, that's the second time this league that we've just played against a deck filled with Carnage Tyrants. That's rough. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play this one Unmoored Ego for Carnage Tyrant instead of the one Negate. Okay, I... I am far or I am nearsighted, so I cannot see things far away. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not playing two Unmoored Egos. It's not really a card I even want to draw. But it's just kind of in here, because especially since we saw multiple Tyrants. We'll draw another land. We don't need those ones. Famous last words. Famous last words. I mean, I want to curve into Angrath. Hmm. Opponent didn't play a land? That's bold. Yeah, so if you're building around a deck around Immortal Sun, you want... I think you want um, a good amount of creatures with ETB effects. Um, I like Immortal Sun a ton in, like... Uh, in, like, black creature decks. Um, here, like Rakdos Midrange, for example. Oh, this one I don't have Immortal Sun. Never mind. Um, does this thing have it? Yeah, this thing has it. So you have like, I like cards like Dusk Legion Zealot and Seeker Squire to go along with Immortal Sun because like these things like help you hit land drops. Um, but then whenever you do have Immortal Sun in play, then it um, makes them cost less and stuff and and like. Cards like Chupacabra, Hostage Taker, making these cost less and, you know, drawing more of them and stuff. Um, Hostage Taker, in particular, usually costs a lot of mana um, to be able to, you know, play it and play the spell that you're trying to take. Immortal Sun helps you out there. So. All right, what are we at? We are at four and one. Four and one? Is that final boss time? I think that is final boss time. Love it. Let's get these emotes out there. Final boss. Time for the final challenge. And then we got a couple donation decks back to back after this. Hey, Parker. Thanks for that, getting that sub. And Drewski Brew as well. Y'all get your final boss emos out there for getting your subs in. Uh, dragons are okay. You can, you can play a dragon deck. Um, with uh, Russ... Russ earlier today signed up for Quip. That was our sixth Quip sign up, and and uh, he asked to see a dragon deck for tomorrow for his donation deck. So you get a donation deck uh, for signing up for Quip. Um, so we're gonna be playing a dragon deck tomorrow. Grixis dragons. Mike, that was a good question. Immortal Sun is a little worse because of uh, Hostage Taker, which is true, how Hostage Taker can take it. Um, but it's certainly not the kind of card that an opponent can take and cast right away. So you, you have a little bit of time. No, stop. Stop wanting to tap my red source deck. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Dutch. So, yeah, there's there's my referral code. Ooh. They're casting Risk Factor next turn. These things deal two. This deals three. Come on, take the Risk Factor. I'm going to keep this land. 
because I don't have to shock to be able to play the Angrath next turn. I want to play the Angrath. Best sports event I have seen live. Uh, World Series. Um, I had season tickets to the Rangers for two years. Um, no fire. No. That's three steel. years. 29, 2010, and 2011. Uh, you know, like I was a teacher, and I'd go to all the games in the summer and everything. And those, in the second two years, they uh, went to the World Series and everything. And there were some awesome, awesome experiences. And, um, you know, we lost... I, the Giants won Game Five, you know, at at the the ballpark in Arlington. So I you best start thinking fast. You're on your own. I did um have to. I did end up seeing like you know the Giants clinch the World Series and everything on on our ballpark, and that was rough, but still just awesome, awesome experience. The ALCS against the Yankees that year to make the World Series for the first time. It was awesome. I think I I think I played this this game wrong. I think I should have gone campaign discovery the previous turn. Bolus is a really good draw. And waited a turn on Angrath so that they couldn't kill Angrath. But honestly, I don't really regret it now because you know, now we have another win con, um, but that was damage that did not go to us. This is the, the matchup how um, somebody asked earlier, like, what do you think is the toughest matchup? I, I think this is probably our, our worst matchup. Because I my clock's just slow, and, you know, they just have a lot of burn spells that kill us. Rest in peace, boiling water. You will be missed. When I was truly fighting ants. Yeah, game game six and that game six in St. Louis. Obviously, I wasn't there because I was in St. Louis, but that was that was a heartbreaker. I'm gonna be taking that one to my grave. I don't think I'll ever be over that game. It's either Bolas go ultimate or get this Angrath. I'm not sure which is faster. Goes to 9, and then 11, then 13, then win. That's, that's so many turns. The dead shall serve me. No one's ever seen water burn. You will. I would love for them to use a burn spell on one of those things. My knowledge is endless. No fire, no steel. So this is the turn. They draw another no burn spell. Fire, no steel. Can I do four? Actually, I think I can do four. Let's get lava runner. Death means nothing to me. Now flip this. Witness omnipotent. I'm gonna get Pyromancer. The dead shall serve me. Oh right, or second hand graph. That would work too. I was looking at those.
All right, let's get these negates, duresses. I think I do want Thief of Sanities here. Craving. So campaign and discovery out again. You know, like mono blue. Um, but I think I take out Ritual of Sits as well. I don't, I don't really like having all these duresses and thought erasures. Like, their, their hand empties pretty quickly. Let's go to, like, two thought erasure. I, duress is cheaper. I like it more. Let's try this. You like even discovery? Basically, just don't want to use my turn two casting it kind of thing. Uh, or, like, use an early turn casting it. You know, like, I'm replacing it with, like, a lot of other removal. Not removal, but, like, counter magic and discard. It's an awkward mana hand, I just realized. Um... I think I, I need to have... I'm playing a red source, but then it's whether I go red-blue or red-black. Um, i go red-blue. If they play a creature, we're coiling it. If they don't, we are playing as Kanta. That'll be a coil. Hope they don't have another creature right now. Because I don't have some removal for a while. Okay. Uh, that thing still comes into play tapped. In case we draw negate, we'll have duress plus negate. Available. We already had... Either way, we'd have Duress plus Lava Coil. Uh, no untapped black mana. Alright, so we're taking a hit. Wizard's Lightning, Shock, Banefire. Guess I just take the Banefire. The other ones have maximum amount of damages they can do. I've never I've never played the magic puzzle quest and I don't know if I'd be too interested in playing it. So I don't want them just to be able to wizard I don't want them to wizards lighting their own Phoenix here. And like just get it back immediately. If, if they're gonna do that, uh, at least needs to be like on their turn so I can still like bedevil the token. Alright, let me go back to our playlist. So that's not bad. We traded the two life gain for We didn't gain the two life, but we, you know, we got we got to trade another spell for the Withered's Lightning basically. Basically, we traded Bedevil for gain one life, I suppose. I guess that's not great. Blech. Doug needs to kind of help us out a little bit. Besides drawing only lands. We've, we've been exploring lands to the graveyard too. Need a negate. Temp's fine, I suppose.
So the problem with waiting on Ascanta is if I wait on Ascanta, then they respond with like the risk factor. They would they would just respond to my Ascanta like during their end step with the risk factor. So that's why I was doing it right then. But it turned out they had a two mana instant speed spell anyway. I only have three negates, so we are we are not winning this game. We have to get insanely lucky lucky to win this game. I could just let them draw the three and then I thought Erasure won. I don't hate that. I still have this thought Erasure going. Well, I, I don't love, I don't love that. Wow. Well, if they just had those three cards on top, we were not beating them. Yeah, we're on the final boss. We're going to game three. Ugh. Thought Erasure's better on the play. Let's cut a set for one. All day. Good close match. Gatsby. All right, we have a deck donation for. Naya Kuatli Goodness. Okay. We can do it. Naya Kuatli Goodness tomorrow. Last or second to last. Alright, I can do yours last. I have I have a deck already for tomorrow for first and second and now fourth. So we got three donation decks for tomorrow. Um, yes, you can play against specific people in Magic Arena. Um, yes, you can play against a friend. I do not want to shock to play Thief of Sanity, because if I have to shock to play Thief of Sanity, then maybe I have to shock again for Ritual of Such or Contempt, and I just can't, I can't really afford that. Hey, Yager, 26th month and counting. Thanks for doing what you do. Hi, right, you're welcome, Yoggers. Thanks for doing what you do as well. Glad you're here. Oh, that's sub number 25 of the day. That means it'll be time for a pack after this. Let's we'll keep that on top. So I can just coil here and again, don't don't have to shock. Um, you know, like the life total is very valuable. Okay, Dutch, the equip order didn't show up for me. Let's go library. We'll play that and thief. Um, okay. 
Okay, I think I can... Yeah, I can I can email like the support and tell them. Man, what a hand. Yeah, like we're just we're just not beating these kind of hands. We're just not. This is this is our hardest matchup. So Dutch, if you can PM me any information you have about your purchase, so I can try to, I can tell them. Um, like I don't know if there's like an order number, maybe that you have. Um, or anything like that. Uh, if you can private message me, and then I'll I'll email them and and tell them that that purchase should be on. On my uh, towards my subscription numbers. Bolus is our best card to draw in this scenario. That was a good draw. Alright, Bull, let's end this game quickly. We need our opponent to draw more lands. Draw a land, opponent. Draw a land. 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 Hooray! Okay. Um. Yeah, that just turn takes a turn off the clock. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom. Come on, draw a land. We got two more turns. Draw a land. Draw a land. Oh no. It's two damage. Um where are we at? We're at five here. Um I guess I have lethal next turn either way. This doesn't help me. So yeah, let's try to find a gate or a life gain spell. Um, yeah, I don't, if they draw it, they draw it. Let's see if they draw it. Wait, can I do, I guess they're not going to have a haste creature that deals three. So I have the ability to... Which is kind of weird. I do have the ability to just minus three Angrath and untap my Nickel Bolas. Like, if we were at two, I may consider doing that. Because then it would stop the, the one mana 2-2 two, two haste no from killing fire, us. But we're no at three, steam. so... Wow. So close. Shock. So close. Lava Runner. Yeah, that was the thing. So, yeah. Wow. So close. Down to one. We got a bunch of gems. 80 gems. Final boss was defeated. Whew, that was close. All right, Grixis discard. It was looking good. Hey, Jelly! Congrats, I love this deck and hate red deck wins. Thanks for the bits, Jelly. Yeah, Bolas, we had that top, like, that was the perfect top deck, was that Nickel Bolas there. Um, that's certainly the reason why we won the game, was that top deck Nickel Bolas. Um, we drew it exactly when we needed to. Um, yeah, if you actually really want to deal with Carnage Tyrant, you can play things like Eldest Reborn, but that doesn't really help. I mean, the cards to play is you can play a Detection Tower in the deck, um, which that helps out quite a bit. 
or um, Star of Extinction. Those are the, like the two best things to be playing. Detection Tower and Star of Extinction. Aw, uh, thanks so much, Chandler. Much love. Keeping that 24-month streak going. With the resub. So yeah, Grixis discard um, looked impressive yet again. We got pretty fortunate to beat our uh, toughest matchup there through that last one in <laughs> 24 years. Uh, let's crack a pack open. We we got to our 25th um, sub there. Let's go, I guess we're at M19. M19 and an Ixalan are the only sets that we have left, really. Yeah, that is true. We didn't shock that whole time. We played around making sure we didn't shock, and we uh, ended up at one life. Wind Reader Sphinx. I didn't think you could open that card. I didn't think that was part of the, the set, honestly. I honestly didn't think that was part of the set. So yeah, so if you're watching uh, Grixis Discard here later on, on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. That's right, we're trying to get to 2,000 YouTube subs to get to that. Uh, another 12-hour stream like we're doing today. Um, I got you, Dutch. Found it. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> that was totally a part of M19. <laughs> Blank face. Um, so yeah, there we go. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.